Hello there people, this is Bruce Be Cool, or Nintendo Bruce here, back again with another deck recipe for Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decade Jewels Plus. And I'd never thought I'd do it, but here we have a Light Swarm deck. So the main reason I've done this is because of you guys. Uh, the two reasons there, primarily, is because I've had a lot of requests and questions about Light Swarms, so I figure the best way to do it is by creating a Light Swarm deck, and I'll probably put up a jewel or two with it as well, so you guys can understand a bit further. And the second thing is, this is actually my third favourite for grinding cards. Um, I know there's other ways to sort of hack cards in the game and stuff, but I'm not so au fait with that sort of thing, and I, I prefer winning my cards, even though it's a pain in the backside to do it. So, with that, Light Swarm's third favourite for milling, and if you've got Light Swarm cards or unlock Light Swarm cards uh, primarily when you first started uh, this game, then definitely use this deck, it's going to rack up a lot more for you. So, before getting into monsters, spells and traps, I'll just go through a couple of weaknesses with Light Swarms. Even though they're overpowered, there are weaknesses. As I keep saying to you guys, there's weaknesses with every deck. This one, or sorry, every deck rather. This one's weakness is either decking yourself out, believe it or not, that's the main weakness. Uh, and it's because this is quite a low card count deck. Now, it's not to say add more, because as I always say with decks, keep them at 40, you're going to draw or discard what you want quicker, uh, and even if you're going to be soon decked out, more than likely you can finish the opponent off in one hit. So don't do what I think it's Toshi does on here, don't have 50 cards, don't have 60 cards, try and do 40. It's just a must. Uh, the second weakness with this is actually against removed from play decks, out of all things. Because a lot of the effects rely on you milling cards from the deck to the graveyard, you can't activate things like Celestia, you can't use things like Honest, so be careful against removed from play decks. There is destruction in here, like Raikou and Lila, I'll show you their effects in more detail a bit later, but yeah, just be a bit careful when you're playing against Macrocosmos decks in particular, Macrocosmos or, uh, uh, what's the other one, Dimensional uh, Fissure, that's it. So. I think with that we can now get started with the deck. First things first, we have a card trooper. Now both effects, very good for the deck. I always choose to mill three whenever I can, so get rid of three cards, doesn't matter whether you attack or not, because with card trooper it's there to mill, as well as to have a nice little effect of when it's destroyed you gain a card into your hand from the deck. So yeah, definitely run one of those. I have three Celestia Light Sworn Angel. Its effect, when its tribute summoned by using a Light Sworn as the tribute, then you can mill four cards from the top of your deck and destroy two of your opponent's cards. It's a brilliant effect, and it's because it's so brilliant I run three. You can definitely get away with running two if you wanted to and run some other sort of Light Sworn monster, but I find Celestia and Wolf probably the, the main targets, or rather, the, the big, one of the big, uh, bleh, I've lost my speech. They're the big guns for Light Swarms in my eyes. So definitely run three of those, or two at the least. One Eren Light Swarm Monk. It's, even though I just run one, don't think it's a useless card just to be there to fulfill the requirement of Judgment Dragon. It's really good against things like Spirit Reaper, Marshmallow, or in fact any face down defense monster that you think, eh, is that going to be useless to them? So, i.e., if you know the opponent is top decking and then they set something in defense mode, then this card can lock them essentially by putting their monster back to the top of their deck, I believe it was. Is it to the top of the deck? Oh no, shuffle that monster into your deck. Um, in, or into the deck rather. So it doesn't matter, it, it gets rid of the monster without too many effects going off, plus you get the mill effect afterwards. Two Gareth Lightsworn Warrior, I think one is too few, three is too many, and uh, as a base 1850 beat stick monster, it's really nice just to attack with. Uh, if you can get it out with things like uh, Lumina special summoning it, or get it in a way where you're going to be doing some form of heavy discarding with Gareth on the field, then that's the best thing, because when you discard from a Light Sworn monster, you can then discard again, or rather you will discard again with Gareth's effect, and any Light Sworn monsters you just pick up, uh, or rather, sorry, the amount of Light Sworn monsters milled, you can then draw that many cards. So it's a fantastic little effect there, and a nice little beat stick. Three Honests, two you can get away with, but Honest is such a broken card 
that. To fit three in there is lovely. And don't think because there's three in here you're going to be drawing into three, unless you're very lucky, because of the milling effect. Uh, plus it's very good with a trap card which I'll show you a little later, Beckoning Light. But yeah, you guys know Honest Effect, but when a light monster battles, you use it, you take their attack essentially. Moving on, one Jane Lightsworn Paladin, I'm not too fond of it. Uh, but it's a nice little effect where you can summon it and it can go up to 2100 attack Plus it's another fulfillment for uh, special summoning out Judgment Dragon Yeah, not too fond of it, so only run one of those Two Judgment Dragon, definitely run two uh, One is just too few and you'd be trying to search the deck for a little while possibly trying to finish off the match uh, It's effect, beautiful when it's special summoned uh, by having four or more light swarm monsters with different names in your graveyard, then you can pay a thousand life points any amount of times if you want to destroy every other card on the field. So, say for example, you use its effect, someone plays scapegoat, or, or I don't know, get finds a way to put tokens on the field, like dandelion, even better. So, say you destroy their dandelion with Judgment Dragon's effect, you can then pay a thousand life points again to then attack them directly. And it's not just from a summon, you can pay a thousand life points whenever you fancy, as long as it's your turn. Yeah, absolute beat stick. Be careful if you can't finish off the opponent, because A, you're going to be milling four cards, and B, you know, your opponent could take your Judgment Dragon, very unlikely if you've blown up most of their field. But yeah, you want to try and finish the game with it if you can. Two Luminar Lightsworn Summoner. Uh, two is a, a minimum, I would say, with this deck and its effect, discard any card in your hand, whether that's a useless wolf or uh, a card trooper which you just can't be, uh, you just can't find the right way to summon, and uh, special summon a light swarm monster of level 4 or less from your graveyard onto the field. Now, interestingly, you can discard, say, wolf to special summon wolf if you really wanted to, but to activate the effect you must have a light swarm in the graveyard, okay? So yeah, definitely run two of those. Oh, and a nice little thing is if you've got your other Lumina in the uh, in the graveyard, then special summon the second Lumina first, and then use the second Lumina to get out wall for whatever you fancy. Yeah, lovely little card. Two Lila Lightsworn Sorceress. So at any point in your turn, if you use its effect to go into defense mode, you blow up an opponent's spell or trap card. Fantastic. Uh, don't be afraid to attack with this first and then use its effect if you think you can. Um, otherwise, it's a nice way to, say, clear the way for Judgment Dragon, if you fancied. Its, it's defense is garbage, so use its effect well. One Plague Spreader Zombie? I mean, with all that milling, you have to run this. Well, well you don't have to, but you'd be silly not to. And the amount of synchro summons you can do is crazy. You can go all the way up to 9 stars, um, from as little as 4 stars. Yeah, very, very versatile in this deck, so definitely run it. And then last but not least for the monsters, oh, hold on, whoa, 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 definitely not last actually. Uh, two Raikou, Light Swan Hunter, sorry, getting a bit excited there. Its effect, very nice, it's like an overpowered man to bug, once it's flipped, target one card on the field, any card, whether it's spell, trap or monster, and destroy it. Fantastic, can get you out of sticky situations, and at the same time you then mill three cards afterwards. So yeah, definitely run two of those, I think three is a bit too many. And then finally for the monsters, we have three Wolf Light Swarm Beast, so you can't normal summon this, it has to be special summoned either from Luminous Effect from the graveyard or with Monster Reborn etc, or if it's discarded from, or sorry, milled from the graveyard to, uh, sorry, there, what's up with my English at the moment? It's these Light Swarms, that's what's doing it for me. Anyway, once it's milled from the deck to the graveyard, it's just instantly special summoned. Fantastic, and as a 2100 beat stick, it's a crazy amount for a 4 star to have. Downside is its defense is horrible at 300, but then again that's the same with a lot of Light Swarm monsters really. So yes, that are, that is the monsters. Fantastic, you can't go wrong with them. Feel free to change a few if you fancy, but I find this combination the best. Moving on to spells, card destruction. Definitely handy if you're going to plan things with a beckoning light or getting rid of garbage in your hand like uh, so you draw into three wolves which I've done before and luckily enough then yeah you have to do it and again it cuts through the deck to find the cards that you need quicker. Three charge of the light brigade might seem like a bit of overkill but again it's all about finding those cards that you need 
dumping the cards, using Beckoning Light to get out things like Judgment Dragon. I'll go on about Beckoning Light in a bit, actually. But yeah, charge of the Light Brigade, mill three, and then pick up a Light Swarm Monster, level four or lower from your deck and add it to your hand. Fantastic. Best thing to do or target is things you don't have in your graveyard yet with that as well, so don't just bear that in mind for Judgment Dragon. Two Foolish Burials, uh, probably the first deck which I've used Two Foolish Burials in, they are a requirement with Light Swarms, so you can use them with Wolf, you can use them to put Plague Spreader in the graveyard, you can even use it to put that last uh, Light Swarm that you need to get Judgment Dragon out onto the field. Very, very handy in this deck. Giant Trunade and Heavy Storm to clear the field. Monster Reborn, why not? Three Solar Recharge. Discard one Light Swan Monster and draw two cards. Uh, it's another way to rip through your deck and it also mills two cards as well. Uh, you can get some tricky situations very rarely with this deck where you just can't summon anything, i.e. you run into a load of Celestias or Judgment Dragon, uh, or sorry, Celestia and Judgment Dragon plus Wolf, so don't be afraid to use Solar Recharge even if it's a powerful card you're getting rid of. Bearing in mind though, with anything Light Sworn wise, Judgment Dragon doesn't count as a Light Sworn, so do bear that in mind with all of these Light Sworn effects. Now going on to the traps, so three Beckoning Light, absolute requirement in my eyes so you can discard your entire hand uh, with it and then add a light monster for every card that you discarded uh, from your graveyard to your hand so get back your judgment dragons get back your honest if you want get celestia yeah lovely lovely way to finish a game this and then two royal decrees might seem a bit of a contradiction considering saying beckoning light is a must but you know what that's going to help you clear the path for judgment again and yeah, blow up the field, including Royal Decree, and then you can use your Beckoning Light, or in general you could just stuff up the opponent with Royal Decree. I find three is a bit too many in this deck, unfortunately. I mean, with the amount of destruction you're gonna get, I don't see a need for three. So that's the main deck. Moving on, when it loads up, here we go. So extra deck, this is more a, a mishmash. I haven't unlocked all the cards yet, as always, but Chimeratic Fortress Dragon, Bearing in mind if you've got a 9 star you'd want to bang it in because the opportunities are ripe with this, with this deck with Plague Spreader, Lumina, you've got a different amount of ranks going on basically so uh, yeah bear that in mind so there you go all of that lot what can I say it's a basic extra deck and then side deck haven't concentrated too much on it but you've got another Eren for those staller decks or rather Spirit Reaper etc etc uh, Garganith, that's a different Light Swarm monster, so it gains 300 attack for each Light Swarm with a different name in the graveyard, and it cuts through defense as well, at least I believe it did, I haven't used it in, like, ever. Yes, indeed, it inflicts piercing damage, and then you mill three. So, how about that? Oh, you must control this face-up card to activate and to resolve this effect. Well, obviously. There you go. Shows you how often I use Garganith, doesn't it? it? It's not a must in Light Swarm, along with a few other Light Swarm cards in this game. What you see here are the main cards in my eyes that you need for a light swarm deck you've got an extra jane there if you need an extra beat stick uh, another lumina another lila for the stallers again another raiko brain control uh, might seem a bit crazy not running this in the main deck but honestly there isn't really a need to and bearing in mind if you was to use its tribute for lumina uh, or not lumina sorry the celestia you're more than likely not going to get its effect because it's not a light swarm once you're attributing Lightning Vortex, Mystical Space Typhoon, Dust Tornado, Mirror Force, Turn from Different Dimension if you are up against Remove from Play, Third Royal Decree, and Torrential Tribute. And there you have it. So, that is my pure Light Swarm deck. I named it pure because there's barely anything else in there, and it's probably the first 40 card uh, Light Swarm deck I've seen on here as well. So, definitely give it a bash. At the very least, if you like me and don't like it uh, being overpowered, then this deck is perfect for grinding. So, with that, let us know your thoughts. I hope I've answered all your questions, because again, this is up from your requests. But pop anything in the section, or sorry, comment section below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can, or again, send me a message. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. So, until next time, you guys take care, and I will see you again soon.